Psalm 68, verse 1. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. Verse 2. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Verse 3. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Verse 4. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, extol him who rides on the clouds, by his name Yah, and rejoice before him. Verse 5. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. Verse 6. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Verse 7. O God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Selah. Verse 8. The earth shook. The heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God, Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Verse 9. You, O God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance, when it was weary. Verse 10. Your congregation dwelt in it. You, O God, provided from your goodness for the poor. Verse 11. The Lord gave the word, Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Verse 12. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. Verse 13. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. Verse 14. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Zalman. Verse 15. A mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan. Verse 16. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. Verse 17. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. Verse 18. You have ascended on high, you have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men, even from the rebellious, that the Lord God might dwell there. Verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Selah. Verse 20. Our God is the God of salvation, and to God the Lord belong escapes from death. Verse 21. But God will wound the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of the one who still goes on in his trespasses. Verse 22. The Lord said, I will bring back from Bashan, I will bring them back from the depths of the sea. Verse 23. That your foot may crush them in blood, and the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. Verse 24. They have seen your procession, O God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. Verse 25. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the maidens playing timbrels. Verse 26. Bless God in the congregations, the Lord, from the fountain of Israel. Verse 27. There is little Benjamin, their leader, the princes of Judah and their company, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Verse 28. Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, what you have done for us. Verse 29. 
because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring presents to you. Verse 30. Rebuke the beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the peoples, till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Verse 31. Envoys will come out of Egypt, Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Verse 32, Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Oh, sing praises to the Lord, Selah. Verse 33, To him who rides on the heaven of heavens, which were of old. Indeed, he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Verse 34, Ascribe strength to God, His excellence is over Israel, and His strength is in the clouds. Verse 35, O God, You are more awesome than Your holy places. The God of Israel is He who gives strength and power to His people. Blessed be God! Prayer, Mighty God! who rides upon the clouds, defender of the weak and provider for the needy, as we meditate on your words, open our hearts to receive your blessings. Show us the path of righteousness and lead us into prosperity. In your holy habitation, embrace us with your love, and let our lives be a song of praise to your name. Amen. Let's meditate and see what the Lord has for you.